so hello everyone welcome again to this youtube channel so it's been a long time since i have made any video so today we are going to talk about the frequently asked question for selenium part 1 so in this video i am going to cover 10 questions that are frequently asked in the interviews so let's get started so the first question is what is selenium so this is most frequently asked question in the interviews that what exactly selenium is so selenium is not just a single tool or utility it is a package of several testing tools and for the same reason it is referred as a suite it is selenium is not a tool or utility it is a suite so each of these tools is designed to cater different testing and test environment requirements so we are going to discuss the each tool of selenium in the next question so the second question is what are the different components of selenium so here are the four components selenium ide selenium rc selenium web driver and selenium grid so as per your own requirement you can select any of the tool so selenium ide is basically record and playback tool so it is only used with the firefox browser then we have selenium rc that in which we have to uh, turn on the server and then we can run the test scripts and we have selenium web driver that directly communicates with the web browser and then we have selenium grid which is mostly used to do uh, the multiple platforms testing or multiple environments testing so these are all the different components of selenium so the next question is why selenium is so popular in market as compared to the other tools so these are the following reasons that it is free and open source and it has large user base and it is ha having a large helping communities then it supports cross browsing compatibility that it's have great platform compatibility and then it supports the multiple languages like java c sharp ruby python then also it supports distributed testing that we already discussed in the last question that is selenium grid okay so next question is what are the disadvantages or limitations of selenium so here are the limitations of selenium that selenium only supports the web based applications you cannot automate the mobile application using selenium and you cannot automate the captcha barcodes using selenium and selenium does not have any inbuilt reporting tool so you have to use testng or junit for the reporting part and user should have a uh, any programming language knowledge before getting started with the selenium so that is the disadvantages and limitations of selenium so the next question is what are the web elements and locators so web element is an interface that is used to represent the html element on the web page and to locate that web element on web page we use locators so these are interlinked again if i reiterate that web element is an interface used to represent the HTML element on the web page and to locate that web element we use locators so next question is so what are the different types of locators so we have eight types of locator that we mostly use in selenium so in the next question we are going to discuss about that what are the different type of locator and what is the priority of the locators so the next question is define priority of locators to be used so this is the hierarchy of the locators that first priority is for the id then for the class name then name tag name link test partial link test xpath css then dom so this is the priority of locator that we should use so next question is the difference between the driver.quit and driver.close so many times i got confused between driver.close and driver.quit so here you can see that driver.close is going to close the browser window that driver currently focused on so it is going to close only the current window and the driver.quit it is going to call driver.dispose and that is going to close all the windows and safely ends the session so this is the difference between driver.quit and driver.close so next question is what is difference between get and navigate method of selenium so first of all both the methods are used to navigate to the any url or any web page so the basic difference is whenever you are going to use driver dot get method it is going to wait till the page is properly loaded 
but that is not the true in the case case of driver dot navigate driver dot navigate is not going to wait till the page is loaded but it is going to store the browser history and cookies so you can use the methods like navigate back or navigate forward or navig or, or refresh these methods you can use with navigate method so that is the difference between these both so the next question is what is the difference between the find element and find elements so the basic difference is that whenever you are going to use find element it is going to return a single element and whenever you are going to use find elements it is return it is going to return you a list of the web elements so now the question is if i have a multiple el web elements i have an x path or i have an css that is returning a multiple web elements and there if i use the find element then it is going to return the first web element of that list okay so that is the key difference between find element and find elements so i hope you like this series and if you like this video please uh, do subscribe to this channel and i'm going to make more videos uh, like this thank you